I, I, I use one of the, I got it from the marina at 470 uh, a gallon, I think it was today. And I only carry one jerry can because, you know what, I, I, I don't go through a lot of diesel, man. I mean, it's not even a, a cost when doing this. Because, I mean, I'm a sailboat and I should be sailing. And even if I got a motor, like, you know, I may go through, like, I, I can go hundreds of miles and only use 20 gallons. But, anyways, I use one of these uh, infomercial uh, siphoning tubes, you know, uh, with the brass thing in there, and I just put it in the container, and I, I got it going and it starts siphoning, and uh, I just wait for it to empty out, and no mess. Sandy's happy. Okay, I gotta fix this flag here. Now, this flag's had its day, you know, in that storm the other night. And there she is. Brand new flag. Yeah. What are we supposed to do with the old flags? Are we supposed to burn them or whatever? I don't know. Like I kind of don't think you're supposed to yeah, burn them. Yeah, I don't think you're supposed to burn I them. I think that's going in the garbage. I think that's a bad thought. Yeah. You should never burn the flag, right? Here's one chore that I got done today. Well, I went to the grocery store and we went to the liquor store and yeah. and uh, we got some. Uh, somebody made a, a, a big donation, which was huge donation <laughs> of snack food. Oh my God, I'm like, uh, and it's like jewelry. <laughs> It's like somebody gave me jewelry. <laughs> we just spent $41 on gasoline and diesel. And um, while we were at the fuel dock, a charter boat came in and uh, to fuel up, and I guess they're finished their trip. And they gave us a bag of groceries. Get a load of this. I mean, like, you know, here's the advantage. This is the advantage of looking like a homeless person. All right. People feel sorry for you, and they give you groceries. Wow, peak fring cookies, man. Oh, yeah, with the little... These are so good for you. And this is like Nutella, right? Yeah, peanut butter. Wow. Well, you know who would go good... You know, you know who loves this kind of crap? The kids. Yeah, the kids. Down here in the Bahamas, it's free. Jam, jam, oh, jams. Pringles. I mean, like, come on. How can you go wrong with Pringles? Oh, there's a ton Oh, of more them. Pringles. Oh, tons of... Look at all the... I love these guys. Oh, wow. Wow, mega Pringles, man. More. I brought a... Did I ever tell you? I brought a tube of, of Pringles to uh, Mount Kilimanjaro. And, I, and I, I brought them to the top. And because the pressure at 20,000 feet is, is, is much less... The can expanded, like the, the, the tube expanded like you wouldn't believe. And it did it slowly, so it didn't burst. And uh, it's kind of neat, right? I mean, like, you know, if I was to take it underwater, it would crush. But the higher I take, um, it, it, it expands. Hey, look at this. Are you kidding me? Oh, oh, my God. Peanuts. I can't get enough of peanuts. Oh, when I get on a plane, man, the stewardess hates me because I just, like, want all the nuts. Oh my God, Couple wow, bags. and candies. Oh, these are so good. These bad boys with a rum and Coke. Wow, they're fabulous. Look at guys, uh, this is what happens at the fuel dock. You know, they, get, they gave them to uh, people that look like they have, an, that have scurvy and uh, that would have been us. So maybe, honey, it's a good idea that we go and we go hang out at the fuel dock all day. Just get a couple of lawn chairs and and we'll put out a little sign, like they do it back home at the intersections, yeah. right? Uh, Any donations will help. Yeah, yeah, food donations, or because uh, I don't want to work, so it won't be, uh, you know, work for money or anything like that. I'm looking for odd jobs? No, no. It just goes to show you, hey, eh, there's nice, kind people everywhere. I mean, like you know, and we would do the exact same, and we've done the exact same. When we get back to the marina in florida you know we we have extra stuff like beer and water and that and we give it to the people that work there yep. I, I mean like that's just what we do i mean so i i had i had some of those pringles there a minute ago and uh 
and, and everyone I had, I thought about those people. I thought, wow, how nice that they gave me Pringles. I mean, like, how can somebody get so excited about Pringles? But it's true. And, um, well, especially when you don't have them. Oh. Yeah. We've always been told that, oh, the Bahamas has cheap rum, cheap rum. Well, we've never seen cheap rum in the Bahamas. Uh, you know, the cheapest bottle of rum is like 24 bucks, uh, you know, in the Bahamas. I mean, like, you know, it's, it's $24. I mean, you know, the, I, I'm, well, somebody says cheap, I, you know, I think in $7 a bottle or whatever, you know, I don't know. But listen, you know, it's funny, uh, probably one of the most expensive islands we've been to, like, you know, the, I mean, like, everything costs a lot of money there, mm -hmm. which is Harbor Island. They had a really high-end uh, liquor store there, eh? Yeah, Wasn't they that? had a lot of fancy stuff there. Wow, 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 really expensive ones, you know, big bottles, different shapes and all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. And you know what? They had a $9 bottle of rum. That's the cheapest rum that we've ever seen in the Bahamas. And it's called Castillo Gold. It's a Puerto Rican rum, actually. It's not even from the Bahamas. This Puerto Rican rum was 9 bucks, And I tried it. And you know what? I mix it with Coke anyways. It's good. 